Hi everybody, I'm back and I'm going to be doing a quick review on my fortune cookie soaps. Uh, I was thinking it was my soap box, but this is a Christmas in July box. So yeah, it looks small, but it's got a lot of stuff packed in it. So let's get going. Open it up. And my scissors aren't here. No, they are. Here they are. So this was, um, let's see, it was, uh, well, obviously in July. Uh, I think it was around the middle of July. And, yeah, kind of, uh, it was uh, kind of snuck up on me. So got an email. And then, yeah, um, I missed, I stayed up all night to catch this, fell asleep, missed it and got the very last part of it so it was pretty much sold out but I got I didn't get as much as I usually would last I still have last year's and it's insane um, it still smells just as good the Griswold or um, what's Na National Lampoon's Vac Christmas Vacation or they called it uh, Old fashioned family Christmas. Like, see, here's last one of last year's it's ginormous bath bomb. It still smells fabulous. Anyway, so this one is really cute. Now, don't don't fret if you see something you like because they always bring these back at Christmas time, so you can still order them. Um, it's just Christmas in July is kind of just a flash of what they're probably going to have at Christmas time. So, um, yeah, it's not a ginormous order. It's really, it's, oh, it smells fabulous. It smells minty. So, here's what it looks like. And let's get going. So here's one. This one looks really cute. This one's called Sunburn Elf. Thank you for wrapping them up too. They usually don't wrap them all. Looks like there's a couple that aren't. Oh, they sent me. Oh, and I ordered a body wash. This one's Old Fashioned Family Christmas. So they are having it. Again this year. Cool. Okay, so this one was looked really cute. Look at that. This will look so cute in our house. It's got a little fuzzy um, thing on the tip. And it's peach colored. Oh, it smells fabulous. The notes, I'm not sure of. They smell like... Oh, get off there. Update gonna mess this video up okay so smells like um, kinda like a drink so yeah peachy kind of not quite sure I should have looked up, up the notes I don't think they were on there there's that one here is old-fashioned family Christmas body wash and that is a pretty big size so and then they put tape around black tape which is really smart so it doesn't leak um, dying to smell it but if I open it it will it doesn't have the notes oh I'm dying to smell it well let's review the rest and then see okay here is Santa's goodies that probably smells like cookies So I was just clicking, trying to get anything that was still on there that wasn't sold out. And, yeah, everything else that was that was sold out, I was like, oh, that sucks. Now this has a bite out of it. It's really cute. Really, really cute. There's the back and there's the front. So that's really ingenious. Smells just like cookie dough. Oh, my me of Christmas, though. It's mixed with this. This smells real Christmassy. There's that. And if you guys want a review from last year's, I know that it's last year's. I can go over them. Let me know in the comments below or in the community section. And I will, um, before I pack them up, 
everything on the bed is going to get packed up today. So let me know if you want to see my bath products from FCS or wherever, and I will show you before I pack it all up. This one is Candy Cane Fluff. This is an awesome one. That's another an, another one that they brought back. This one smells like candy canes. It's got red and white stripes on it. And then I got a tangle and a tinsel. That smells just like pink sugar. Um, one year my husband went nuts and bought me the whole collection body wash. So oops, this one's a little bit crackly, but really bright. That's what it looks like. And it smells so minty. <sighs> They're starting to put a little, um, one of those silica pockets in there in the bag, if you can see it, that comes in with new shoes to hold them until Christmas to keep them fresh, which is really smart, especially when it's Christmas in July. So, yeah. I cannot wait. I was out at the house. I was just out there, and the electrical's done. Um, it's moving right along. Crazy. I've got to get this house packed up. Then they're going to do the insulation, paint, or insulation, drywall, paint, bring the appliances in, and carpet. And then, yeah, the outside. And it should be done crazy. So uh, any day, got to get this place ready to go. So here's what's left. Quite a bit. I got quite a bit. So this one is called Sand Angel. It's like blue and then it looks like it's dipped in sand. Um, I think they had this one last year. I didn't get it though. It was at 6 p.m. Central, and I am Mountain Time, so obviously I get that mixed up. I was asleep with my head down on the, and I missed it. I woke up, and I was like, no, and there was, no. So this one has a little, um, like a dove on it, yeah. It smells fabulous. Oh, my gosh. It smells clean, and, yeah. Little silica fell out of it. So this is what they put in there, the little pouch to keep it fresh. Since it's a Christmas um so you guys will probably laugh when you see in my jetted tub. Um it's pretty small but it's kind of good because I didn't want one where I, my feet wouldn't touch the bottom in case I fell asleep in it. That'd be kind of scary. Then you can drown. Get you tired, you know. So that's uh, tangle in the tinsel. We'll do that one last. Here is Dirty Santa. That's a new one to me. I haven't seen that one. Um, oh yeah, I think they did have this one last year. It's got. Um, I'm not quite sure this one's full of strings. So they got this out fast. Now my soap box is on the way too, so I wasn't sure which one it was. So this has black coal, like black all over it. it smells just like Christmas. Like bayberry and yeah. Like you would picture Santa smelling if you were a little kid. Yes, so not a very good description, but and there's that one. And I've got tons from last year. If you guys are interested in seeing them, they are really, really cute. Really cute. They had kind of a beach theme last year. One in. Since we don't have any family in the area, it's just Anthony and I, so there's no fun. I can't make gift baskets or anything. Maybe here's another Dirty Santa. I ordered two of those. Um, 
they had a, and then later they had a, if you buy one, you get, I think if you bought two, you get the last one free, or you buy one, you got two free, something like that. And here is Santa's goodies. Again, that's the cookie with the chomp out of it. Here is Sunburn Elf. This one is the first one I showed you with the little red um, puff on it. And then I will open that body wash and see what it smells like. It looks awesome. So, oh yeah, the, and they need to get the tile down in our house. I forgot. Fireplace is done. Uh, they need to get the tile done around that. So this one looks a little better than the first one, but they all look cute. Okay, now I know what it smells like. It's like butter, butterscotch. Yep, butterscotch, kind of in mint, and yeah. So, there's everything. There's one more thing, tangle and the tinsel. And then that's quite a bit. So if you guys want to see last year's, just one person leave me a message and I will um, get it up today. This is Tangle and Pencil, one of my favorites. That's all I talked about one year. This has been up for about three years. And the first time I smelled it, I went nuts. It smells just like pink sugar. I am not kidding you. And it's pink, so you can use it all year. So this is what it looks like. Love it, love it, love it. They have all the products. It smells just like pink sugar. She's duped it. Anyway, so I hope you guys enjoyed this. I will get this uploaded. Um, leave me a message about if you want to see last year's. They all look great. They still smell fabulous. There's one really cute one. I will show you real quick from last year. Let's open this and smell it. But this one is really, really cute. Where is it? Really, really cute. Um, there's Jello. Uh, putting a pop. This is a Jello. Here it is. This is one of my favorites from last year. This one is called, uh, You Want Me to Sit Where? And I, I bought a bazillion of these, but I thought it was so cute. That's last year's. It's got little bells on it. Santa's shoes. Yeah. I loved it. So, yeah, that's from last year. Still smells fabulous. Anyway, so. I will let the, I will get this uploaded. Let me take a whiff of that body wash, see what it smells like, so I can let you guys know. Packing everything up. It's crazy. Um, how I'm gonna store everything in the bathroom. I think what I'm gonna do is in between both sinks on the countertop is get a big cabinet that has doors that open and um, store a lot of my bath products all just in there so I can open it, grab one, or grab five and throw them in the jetted tub and yeah so it's going to be awesome. Awesome. Uh, what was I going to do? Where would the body wash go? Here it is. Let's see what it smells like. Um, let's see if I can poke more. more. Because it's got to be moved from here, too. I don't want it to. I can't unscrew the lid, either. It's hard to smell. Anyway, um, the minute I shut the video off, I'll get this tape off. It's really smart. They must have had a lot of products it had stuff leaking on them because every time you order something in a jar it comes with this black um, tape on it and it's really ingenious so I'm going to keep the tape and rewrap it so there we'll set that there let's open it up oh and it's sealed too 
smells fabulous. It smells kind of like philosophy. One of philosophy's Christmas um, body washes. I always go nuts on those. It smells wonderful. Can't describe the scents. Bayberry, pine. Yeah. So it's called Tis the Season to be Merry. M A R Y. Hope you guys enjoyed this. Thanks for watching. Sub, sub, sub. Give me a thumbs up. And I will see you all later. And if you want to see any of last year's FCS or any of my Lush, I have some Lush from last year's Christmas. Crazy. Waiting on that jetted tub, and it's finally here. So now I can use them all. And I'm going to use them. The jets are, like I said, are placed down low so I don't have to fill the tub completely to the top and cost a fortune in water bills. But there's a lot of jets, and wow, I went and saw the lighting. It is going to be beautiful. They put can lights in the ceiling, and there, there's a bazillion can lights. Oh, it's going to be beautiful. So we'll just put low wattage bulbs in there so that it's not really bright, just kind of lightly dim. And uh, when I lived with Anthony, um, or before we got married, we had the same builder built us a home, uh, or built him a home, and um, it had plant shelves. And up above on the plant shelves, what I did was, for indirect lighting, was put Christmas lights and just pushed them back. And I had left them there all year. So at night, I just flipped this flip the switch and we'd have um, indirect lighting go up on the ceiling and nobody knew it was Christmas lights it didn't matter so it was really kind of a, a unique idea and uh, that's what I'm going to do with my cabinets at this new house I think it'll be beautiful um, on the white white cabinets uh, tuck some white lights uh, on the back and then put some plants you know, uh, above or whatever, artificial plants. But anyway, before I not talk your head off, I will let you go. I will get this uploaded. Thanks for watching. Sub, sub, sub. Give me a thumbs up. And I will see you later. Have a good day. Bye. Oh, and the soapbox should be here any day. I'll see you later. Bye.